Welcome to our executive interview series at CyberTalks, presented by CyberScoop. I'm Elias Grohl with Scoop News Group, and we're here with Paul Butterfoss, the VP and CTO for Enterprise IT and Mission Solutions at Lidos. Paul, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So I'd like to start by asking, how has the enormous and sudden attention around AI and generative AI impacted your organization's cybersecurity planning heading into the coming year? Sure. So coming up on November 30th, which was the release date last year of ChatGPT, which I think was the massive exponential growth in generative AI. But generative AI and AI in general has been around for a while. And at Lidos, we've been working at it, delivering it for customers for several years. And so I think that has kind of given us a, a step up or a advantage against some of the competition in terms of implementing and being ready for this new uh, wave, if you will. Uh, and so to that end, we're focusing a lot on uh, governance and helping customers uh, with the executive order from Biden released last month, uh, focusing on safe, secure, and trustworthy AI, right? Really making sure that there's appropriate governance in place, that we're using this new power you know, responsibly and ethically. Uh, and then also, as it relates to cybersecurity, I think there's two kind of primary functions uh, of AI that we're looking at. Uh, one is in increasing efficiencies, right? Reducing the manual toil and the labor of analysts, uh, which also helps to address the massive workforce challenge that we have. Uh, and then also increasing cyber resiliency, right? So how do we use AI to assist with failover or coop or to automate pen testing uh, to enable us to you know, ensure our defenses are properly configured? And how has the increasing shift to and reliance on cloud services made real-time cybersecurity and threat detection easier or harder? Yeah, it's, it's certainly a double-edged sword, um, right? So uh, the cloud is super powerful, uh, right? You're able to store a lot of data. You have tons of access to you know, infinite compute effectively. Uh, and so the, the old days of not being able to store logs or not being able to collect enough data and store it somewhere on-prem, I, I think, has gone away. Uh, so cloud is extremely powerful from a defensive perspective by having the data accessible at your fingertips. Um, on, the, on the flip side, you also have this multi-cloud challenge, right? So you've got multiple CSPs that have very little incentive to work together because uh, they're each trying to, to grab market share. Uh, so how do you kind of, as a federal organization that wants to be uh, multi-cloud enabled, uh, how do you do that? And so Lidus is investing a lot in kind of multi-cloud operations and you know, standardizing things kind of across multiple platforms to enable uh, defensive posture for that. Uh, and then I'll add one more kind of benefit of the cloud. You know, that's where AI is going to live, right? Yes, you're gonna have offline models that will work at the edge, but the most powerful AI is gonna reside in the cloud. And with your data being there, being closer to the AI, uh, that's another advantage for uh, cloud adoption. Paul Butterfoss, thank you so much for coming by and sharing your expertise with us here at CyberTalks. Absolutely, thanks for having me.